Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 9 Let's Play where our queen is awake. Level 18 once again and we need to upgrade her if we can to level 19. That is 85,000 Dark Elixir. I've only got 61, so uh, we're, you know, we're a little ways away from that. Uh, but the king can be upgraded today, guys. We only need 65,000 Dark Elixir. I've got 61, so we're really, really close. It's only going to take a raid, maybe two, before we can actually do that. Also, and don't let me forget about this, guys. I have a gold rune I want to use today. Don't let me forget, which means we need to get as close to zero gold as possible before we use this baby. It is time today to get a ton of stuff done. You guys ready? Of course you're ready. All right, so let's go in. Let's get some loot as usual using my Loonian, the best overall farming strategy for a Town Hall 9. Um, and uh, we're going to get some more loot. Like I said, we need to get Dark Elixir. We need to get to that 65,000 Dark Elixir mark. If I had been super dedicated, and I am dedicated, but I'm just, I've got too much going on all at once lately, um, I would have farmed a lot, and maybe we would have been able to get the queen going instead of the king. But, that's fine, man. As long as we get something going, that's what's most important. So, actually what's most important is family. But you know what I mean. So, let's guys, let's take out this base. Uh, we have a dead Town Hall 9. Expos are out. We do have a level 15 queen. Our queen is better. That's awesome. And let's smack from the top left, okay? Balloons, minions, hound. Let's poison and rage over the queen. Uh, because then the little minions pop in and they get tons of work done. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's haste through that. Let's uh, rage through the core. I'm going to haste this group over here, too, because they're about to run into a sweeper. And then I got one more haste. I think down here next to this air defense would probably be a wise place to put that haste. All right, so we got, oh, dang, we got two wizard towers back to back. We've already gotten rid of one, but I don't know, man. Our air defense just took out the hound, and we got a lot of balloons left. Look at this, guys. And this, um, <laughs> as this wizard tower works on this little group, we're going to have a bunch more balloons pop in and take out that wizard tower. That was awesome. So without even needing our heroes that my friends is going to be a oh wow why is there a balloon in the cc <laughs> one balloon that's hilarious like normally if you drop i should have waited okay here fun fact if we had waited until the minions took out that clan castle then the troops would not have come out they would have died inside that building but they wouldn't have actually died fun fact um if you destroy the clan castle and there's troops inside then then they they will be able to come back during the next defense interesting isn't it all right so anyway uh with that loot bonus guys that was over 550,000 golden elixir and a uh, 3500 roughly dark elixir so that was a great find guys and we've already crossed that 65,000 dark elixir mark so we have enough dark elixir to upgrade the king but obviously naturally i want to maybe no, there's no way. I was about to say, maybe we'll get enough Dark Elixir to upgrade the Queen. I don't know about you, but I've never gotten 20,000 Dark Elixir in a single raid before. So, highly unlikely, guys. Highly unlikely indeed. But, I'm going to request for a Hound and some Poison. I'm going to donate it to myself. And, um, be right back with you guys with another full army. So that we can go dominate another base. And never mind, my buddy Armchair General from my clan has donated, so thank you so much, my dude. Now, I'm ready to go, and fortunately, because I was able to three-star that last base without even needing to use my heroes, um, I've got my heroes again for the second raid. That is awesome, and if you can manage to do that, like, during a boost or whatever, then it's awesome, because then you just have overpowered armies over and over and over again. But, you have to be super picky about the armies that you're, the, the bases that you take out, you gotta work on taking out bases that you can three star and obviously watch out for losing health with your heroes. But there's also a catch to that. If you search for like, let's say you're looking for a million golden elixir and you search and you search and you search. Ooh, that's a lot of dark. I couldn't get, well, maybe I could get in there. Actually, hold on, hold on. What, basically what I was saying is if you're sitting there and you're searching forever, then you uh, you basically will waste your boost. Like you don't want your uh, your cooks to or your cooking of your troops to happen and then you're still wasting time. So you, you have to kind of have a a goal in mind. But okay, this base has 6,000 dark elixir guys. Not a lot of elixir, a lot of gold. So I say we take it out. And this guy's name is Damon. Damon, you're 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 a great guy. Thanks for having so much dark elixir in your base. Uh, you are the best, my dude. All right, so let's get a haste on both sides. I'm actually going to rage into the middle here. Um, haste on the corner. Haste on the corner. 
I'm gonna poison over the queen, poison over the CC, pop that king's ability, and I think we're gonna be all right. I don't think we're gonna get all the Dark Elixir, but I think we're doing a decent job of it. I mean, so like the Dark Elixir and two out of the three drills have already been gathered. We're about to uh, uh, have the opportunity to get the Dark Elixir out of the storage over here, and if we're lucky, Oh, Queen, yes. Okay, so we got the Dark Elixir out of the storage, but what about that drill down there, guys? Pop that Queen's ability. Please come down to the Archer Tower. Please come down. Yes. Yes, because here's what's about to happen, guys. Check it out. That Archer Tower goes down, and we have one minion left. And this minion will take out this cannon, and then this one minion, which I'm going to call a Winion. This is absolutely a Winion in this position is going to take out the cannon and then step up and wipe out the Dark Elixir drill and give us all the Dark Elixir that this base has to offer, except, unfortunately, what we missed out of the Town Hall, uh, which usually is like 500 to 700, depending on the Town Hall level and what Town Hall you are. Now, I'm a Town Hall 9. I just, like, went out on a limb and attacked a Town Hall 10. We're going to get uh, about 64, 65% one star. Actually, wow, look at that. No air targeting things up here, dude. That's amazing. This one Winion by itself is going to be able to collect so much percentage as well. And as long as we're under 70% or as long as the, the minions wiping out buildings with loot in it, it's worth it. It's worth it to be patient. And look at that. Remember that? I guessed it. 500 to 700 Dark Elixir sitting in the town hall. And now we've gotten every single building destroyed. All three drills, the storage, the clan castle. The only building that we didn't take out that holds Dark Elixir is the town hall. It's right there and it's holding 500. There's 500 left on the base and there's literally zero chance of that minion taking out all of that Dark Elixir. Taking out anything even remotely close to that town hall. So check it out. Like I said earlier, if we are working up to 70%, because notice that's at 70 70% that is a, the, a max loot bonus or if the minion is going to be taking out buildings with loot in it which right now it currently is it's worth waiting for so we're at 64% this one will put us at 65 yeah oh 66 look at that we skipped a percentage point and um, now that's not a loot building uh, I mean laboratory army camp my uh, mortars they don't have loot in them but if we can get another percentage point then that adds to our loot bonus it's worth the wait Notice that I've somehow <laughs> been uh, successful at basically entertaining you guys, delaying a little bit uh, to the point to where we're actually at the end of the countdown. Bam. I, I mean, I could have like closed out and done all that stuff, but I didn't feel like it. So there we go, guys. With that loot bonus, that was over 6,000 Dark Elixir. Also, our Golden Elixir, not bad. I missed out on a lot of gold, though. I don't know. I guess a lot of gold storages. I see two gold storages next to the Town Hall. I see a couple of mine, uh, yeah, gold mines too. So didn't get a lot of gold. I mean, it's like 280,000 gold, something like that. We got 180,000 elixir, so that's not good either. But the dark elixir was over 6,000. That, my friends, was awesome. So we have returned to the base. Our heroes are dead. We have no CC. We actually have no armies. Look at our army camps. They're empty. This is how I like it. This is the, the lull at the end of the video where... You know, we've done the attacks. We've got as much loot as we're going to have. Don't forget the gold rune. Dude, I remembered. I looked at my gold storage and saw it wasn't full and remembered. It's like, oh, yeah, i got to use my gold rune. So good stuff, guys. Exciting stuff. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to bounce into my progress base, and we're going to get some upgrades done. Okay? We want to spend 4.8 million gold. Actually, wait. Yeah, my treasury is empty. I'm going to go ahead and collect... Just to see what my absolute maximum is. Okay, 4.8 million gold. So is there a building that is 4.8 million? There is not. Okay, well, is there a combination of the two, of two buildings that could do, or that could be 4.8 million? It doesn't look like we have anything close to that. We have a 3.2 and a 1. Oh, wait. Yeah, because the walls are 1 million, right? So I could do technically a... Uh, like a 3. Point, do we have any 3.5s? We don't. Oh, we do! Yes! All right. Nice. So, guys, what we're going to do to get to as close to zero as possible so that we can then use the gold rune and get as much gold as possible, we're going to upgrade this bomb tower and then upgrade a wall that'll get us to as close as we can get and then use the rune. All right, so let's use the upgrade this bomb tower, guys. Three-day upgrade, three and a half million gold in three, two, one. Bam. And I'm pretty confident that that bomb tower is maxed. But I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I, I know I've mentioned it in previous episodes, but I don't keep contain all that information in my head. So I guess what I will do is I'm going to come over here. 
I'm going to put that upgrading bomb tower here. I may move it across. If I do the research, or I'll just wait the three days and, uh, and you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, so that was that. Now let's upgrade a wall with gold. And that'll put us at as close to zero as possible. So now it is time, my friends, for the gold rune. I love it. Anytime you get a, a gold rune, I think it's the least valuable, by the way, of the three. Like gold rune, elixir rune, dark elixir rune. Obviously, dark elixir rune is the most valuable. But if I can get myself a gold rune, we're in business. All right, so let's go and use this, guys, right now in 3, 2, 1. Bam. And that was 76 million free gold oh man that is awesome all right so now we can upgrade all kinds of stuff i think first we should focus on the heroes because i don't want to get excited and spend all my gold and then realize dang it i didn't spend my dark elixir i don't have a hero upgrading this is terrible so let's upgrade this king guys i can't upgrade the queen i can't afford her but the king now will be going level 18 he will then be legal to vote it is amazing let's go Sixty-five thousand dark elixir three day upgrade in three two one bam Nice. All right, King, you just hang out right there. Good job, buddy. Now, Elixir. Um, I have three days until the laboratory is done, so I can kind of just kind of hang out here. I should probably spend a little bit of that Elixir just because I don't want to max out. So let's go ahead and do two walls with Elixir. Four million. That's pretty good. And then we can spend as much gold as we want. Now, remember, I wanted to finish up the sweepers just to get them over with. So let's go ahead and do that. This this will be the final gold upgrade that does not add damage to our base. Unless you count the walls. I'm not going to count the walls this time, okay? This is the final building that we're upgrading that does not add DPS to our base. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. Two-day upgrade. Three million gold in three, two, one. Bam. Hoorah. All right. And you can go right. Oh, that's a horrible spot. Actually, that's not so bad because the, the other three by three tile buildings can go right here. So that'll that'll work, I guess. Um, yeah, I haven't upgraded another bomb tower, have I? No. Town Hall 9 only has one bomb tower. Okay, so guys, now we got to work our way down the list. I have two wizard towers that are... Uh, oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't have enough gold. I have 5 million gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first upgrade a wizard tower because it is our number one priority. Best defense at Town Hall 9. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. Level 7 wizard tower. 3.2 million gold. Three day upgrade in 3, 2, 1. Bam. All right. And we'll put that there. That'll work. All right. And then last but certainly not least, I've got 1.8 million gold. I don't think any of these. Yeah, none of these defenses are that cheap. The, uh, the cheapest actual gold upgrade is suggested here. There's 2 million gold for the cannons. So, um, unfortunate, but it is what it is. I guess we could, I mean, it's good. It's good to leave the fifth builder available in case you have excess loot. You can pour it into the walls or whatever. I've been over that a million times in this series and every other series I've ever done. So let's actually throw in this extra million and put it into our walls just because it's the good, it's a good thing to do. It's a good idea. So let's do this guys. One million going three, two, one, bam. And guys, that was yet another epic day. We have... Three days until the laboratory is done, which is awesome. We didn't have enough Dark Elixir for the Queen, but we did get the King going. Now they're both going to be matched up 18-18 in three days, which is awesome. Our Bomb Tower is going to, I'm assuming, max, but I don't want to assume too much until I do the research. We've also got a decent amount of defenses left. I should probably put marks on any defense that has more than one level at Town Hall 9. I don't think any of them do, though, except for the Expo. But I could definitely be way, way wrong. In fact, hold on a second. That's level 10, level 11. Yeah, I'm pretty sure level 11 is max for Town Hall 9. I've been through this. I just did the Town Hall 9 upgrade guide like a month ago. I should remember it, but I don't. So don't worry, guys. I'll have it all the whole plan figured out by the next episode. But at least we got a little bit of progress everywhere. Got a sweeper and a bomb tower and a wizard tower upgrading. The king upgrading. Got a couple of walls done. And we're slowly preparing for another lab upgrade here in the next few days. So, guys, after all of that amazing Clash of Clans is done and the raids and the upgrades and all the things, let's hop over to today's comment question of the day. And today's comment question of today is from Trainer Pro 360. Trainer Pro 360 has been asking this question over and over again, and that was by my suggestion to do that. He says, hashtag QCOTD, question comment of the day question qcotd is backwards but it works question comment of the day it is a question he says if clash of clans did not exist what other game would you play wow what a question <laughs> i've been avoiding this question because frankly 
it's a hard question to answer. But okay, so if Clash of Clans never existed, I guess I should analyze why I like Clash of Clans, right? I like Clash of Clans because I like base building. I like the the idea of developing things and growing things, seeing things advance, seeing things improve. Right, that's what I love about, the most about Clash of Clans. Obviously, having a base, it's like a virtual home that you live in when you're chilling in the subway station. You get your phone out, boom, you're in your base, your home, even though you're in a strange place. Um, but I also, and the reason why I think I've really dove into Clash of Clans instead of something else like a like a Sim City or like a like a Minecraft, where it's all about creativity, is the strategy side. Like the strategy side of attacking every base, and every base is unique. Um, unless it's stolen from the internet and most of them are nowadays, but, um, that strategy side keeps me entertained. You know, I love the development side, but I love the strategy side too, because it keeps it interesting. It keeps it changing every single time I hit the attack button and then find a match. So that is that. So, so that's why I love clans to clans, but that wasn't the question. The question is what other game would I play? So what other games have that? What other games have strategy and development? Not many, dude. Not many at all. I would probably have clung to Minecraft. If I had to pick a game right now that I would probably have clung to if it wasn't for Clash of Clans, it probably would have been Minecraft. Um, I was into shooter games. Obviously, everybody loved Halo back when I was in high school and when Call of Duty and now obviously there's PUBG and Minecraft and Apex Legends and all those things. But I get bored of them super fast. Some people don't and that's fine. My opinion is my own. Your opinion is your own. Uh, but I'm just saying, like, I, I, a lot of people find those to be really fun and they're super popular online, but I don't think they would have been my thing. So, um, yeah, I would have probably stuck to Minecraft. It would have been my main thing, which is, I think, a very popular opinion because so many people love Minecraft. Let me know in the comments what you think of all of this, all of the video content, the question, the answer. If you have another question that you want answered in a future comment question of the day, in a future episode of any of my series, please post those questions down below. Please also, because you have no idea how much it helps, like this video if you liked it. And if you are not a subscriber yet of the channel, please do consider subscribing. Join the Klaus family for daily Clash of Clans gaming videos and to turn on notifications so you actually know when I actually post a new video. Remember, guys, that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.